Our dear Father in heaven, we thank you so much. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you, Father, for another privilege to come before you to pray. We thank you because you have not left us. We thank you because you are the reason why we are moving on. Without you in our lives, we would have been forgotten. Without you in our life, the enemy would have seen our end. Without you in our life, oh God, the grace of God would have evaporated. But because of you, because of your presence in our families, in our life, that is why we are still forging on. Father, accept our thanks and our praises in Jesus' name. Almighty God, we want to thank you. We want to bless you your name for all the past days, all the past months, O oh God, of these O oh God Monday prayers, that by your grace and power, O oh God, you have helped us, you have assisted us, you have uh, 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 been with us. Lord, today will not be an exception. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, King of kings and Lord of lords, we know not how to pray. Pray. We pray, Lord, that you will teach us and you will lead us, you will direct us into this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Today we want to look up to God in prayer. And because today is family day, and we always pray for the family. We always intercede on behalf of the family. And that is why today we are going to be praying again for the family. As we look at what we will be praying on, what the Lord has laid in my heart just now, we are going to look at the life of Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot was a man among the disciples. He was among, in fact, can we call it the best family on earth? Because the family of Jesus is the best family. The company of Jesus is the best company. Is the best place to be. Judas Iscariot was there. He was there among the family. In fact, we even call it heavenly family. Where Jesus Christ is the head. And he had the disciples there. Matthew was there. Mark was there. Luke was there. And by, by extension, Judas Iscariot was part of the family. But beloved, Judas Iscariot, he, he, became, he, be, he became lukewarm. He became not challenged. He did not take cognizance of his spiritual life. He was not examining himself every now and then. That is why the devil was able to operate inside of him. You know what the Bible said in the book of John? The Bible said, and the devil entered into him. And the devil entered into him. Before the devil entered into him, the Bible told us, that Satan suggested to him. The Satan brought the idea to him, and he brought the idea. And the Bible told us, and the devil entered into him. When the devil entered into him, we can see his outcome. We can see what happened to him at last. He lost his life. He lost his, his ministry. He lost everything. He lost his family. He lost everything. Beloved, that is why we want to look up to God this morning. Because a time will come in the life of a man when he becomes prayerless, when he becomes careless, when, when he becomes carefree. He's not praying. He cannot pray. He's not watching and praying. He's not doing what the master had told him to do. To do. Jesus always tells the disciples, watch and pray. He always instructed, watch and pray. But these people were not watching and praying. And because of that, Satan entered into him. He sowed the seed, the evil seed, into the heart of the Judas Iscariot. He now made him an accomplice, a betrayal in the family. Hey, my brother, my sister, what we are looking at today is important. In our families, you don't know whom the devil has entered into. That when the devil enter into that individual, that's why you see misbehavior. 
That is why you see, you see rash action. Well, that's why you see some action that are not godly. That's why somebody, you'll be looking at some people, the way they are reacting, as if they have been possessed by a, the, the, the devil. It's because Satan has entered into them. It's because Satan has penetrated into them. You see the way they talk. It could be the spouse. It could be the husband. It could be the wife. The way the wife will just talk. The way we, the husband will just talk. The way they will just react. In fact, some of the words that will be coming out from the mouth of the spouse will be so so hard, so heavy. You'll be looking at it. That what has come over this person? This person was not like this before. This person was not doing this before. His life, her life was not like this before. He was not doing this before. He because the devil entered into him. When the devil entered into the life of a man, what do we see? That's why we see adultery. That's why we see fornication. That's why we see somebody messing up his life. It is when the devil entered into him. When the devil entered the man, the, the man can leave the family, leave the wife, and go and commit immorality outside. The old wife can leave the husband, go and commit immorality outside. That is when the devil entered into a man. When the devil entered a man, hey, I'm telling you, beloved, just like the Bible told us, he said the latter end will be worse. He said when the evil spirit leaves him, when the evil spirit leaves him, he will go about looking for where to enter. And when he sees that the house is gone, the house is empty, the house is free, he will come back again with more demon, with more spirit. And the Bible told us that the end of that man will be worse than his beginning. That is the, the, the state, that is the condition of a man, of a woman that the devil has entered into. Hey, beloved, it's not an oversight. Satan can enter into the art, into the life of a child, a child in the family. This child has been doing well. This child has been behaving well. Morally speaking, this child is good. And the devil entered into him because of carelessness, because of prayerlessness, because of wanting or the other. And the end and the state of this boy is terrible. The boy has left home. The boy has just joined courtes. The boy, has, the girl has left home. The girl is now messing up. You see her in all the brothels everywhere. You hear oh, dangerous news, bad news concerning the person. It's because the devil has entered into soul a person when the devil entered a man but look, the question is jesus did not tell us that that state is not is unrepairable no he didn't tell us that that life is irredeemable no he didn't tell us that oh there is nothing that can be done about this person again no do you remember the state of uh, mary mandaline the bible told us he has seven demons he has seven demons seven spirits do you know that that mary mandaline was delivered and the Lord delivered him. And the Lord delivered Arada. Do you remember that man of gathering? He said, who, who are you? He said, for we are legion. He said, we have, I, I have many spirits, many demons inside of me. According to a scholar, a scholar that wrote about that thing, he said a, 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 a legion was about 2,000 to 3,000 demons. How can somebody, only one person, you want to kill him? Only one person is having about 2,000, 3,000 demon inside of me but do you know when jesus stepped in into the cave hey i am praying oh in our family jesus will step in into our family whatever Amen. has gone whatever has gone wrong jesus will step in into that son into that daughter into that wife Amen. into that woman Amen. into that friend Amen. into that boy that boy that is living with you into that into that man if the, the man has been possessed by the devil jesus will step into that cave and everything will be all right we're going to call upon Amen. the name of the lord first and foremost i want us to lift up our voice and say god i thank you because you are so powerful i thank you because you are so but mighty i thank you because worship. there is none like you let's go open the armor and call upon the name of the Lord. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. We always see, we say, Jesus is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. All power bow before Him. He is a mighty All power bow before Him. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. He is a great God. He is a wonderful God. He is a loving God. He is a powerful God. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you cannot. 
Before we begin to pray for others, we want to pray, oh God, who is in my family that Satan has entered into? Who has Satan entered into in my family? Oh God, by the power in the name of Jesus, deliver such a one. Oh yeah, 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 deliver such a one. Oh yeah, deliver. Oh yeah, deliver. Oh yeah, deliver. Oh yeah, deliver. It could be the wife, oh. It could be the husband, oh. It could be the son, oh. It could be the daughter, oh. It could be the person living within the family, oh. Open your mouth and call upon God. Oh God, I pray. Whoever Satan has entered. In my family, oh God, deliver, oh God, deliver, deliver, oh God, deliver, oh God, deliver, in the name of Jesus. There is nothing you cannot do, there is nothing you cannot fix, fix it. Open your mouth and call upon God, oh God. Deliver my family, deliver my family, deliver my family, deliver my family, deliver my family. Where Satan has entered into, into the marriage, oh God, deliver, into the oh God, deliver, into the fellowship, oh God, deliver. Oh, where there is no fellowship in the family again, Satan has entered. Open your mouth and pray, oh Lord, deliver my family, 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 oh Lord, deliver my family. Where there is no communication again. In the family, Satan has entered. Hey, brother, pray, brother, pray. Open your mouth and pray. You say, hey, My family is still all right now. My family is still okay. Oh, you can pray, you can pray against it so that Satan will not enter. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Lord, I seal my family with the blood of Jesus. Satan will not seal. Oh, Satan will not enter my family in the name of Jesus. I call my family with the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. And when Satan has entered, Satan has entered. Open your mouth and call upon God. I use the power. Wow. In the name of Jesus, deliver my family, deliver my family, deliver my family. Some families are under siege, some families are under siege, some families are under attack. Open your mouth and pray, oh God, deliver my family from every satanic attack. In the name of Jesus, deliver my family. Hey, the spiritual life of some family has been interrupted, has been intercepted. Open your mouth and pray, reach the aspect of your family as Satan entered into. Is that the fellowship? Is that the devotion? Is that the communication? Is that the fellowship? communion? Is that the relationship? Who oh, put your mouth and call upon God? Oh God, my Father, where Satan has entered, any family, any family, any family that the devil has entered, who God deliver? 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Beloved, you know where I am now. Let me just tell you something. You see, when we talk about Satan entering into the entering into the family, it's a serious matter. Oh. It's a serious matter. <laughs> and it does not leave anybody, anybody. Somebody came to me for counseling, I think, last, last, last two weeks, his sister. And his sister told me something. When he told me that thing, I will, I, it, it, not that I was shocked, actually, because I know the brother, the brother concerned has been careless. And what was it? It was a pastor. One of our pastors, deeper life, oh, deeper life, oh. one of our pastors in Ibadan, in Ibadan. We were told that this man, this man has lost it. This man was so powerful. This man was firing all of a sudden. In fact, he started, he, he, didn't, he didn't know the daughter of this pastor stumbled on this pastor's phone and saw a voice text, a voice message. And the voice message, what you, he was talking to somebody, a lady. He was saying, telling the lady that, eh, see, my wife has gone to, to the farm. Eh, and it will be long for her to come. You can come now. And when you are coming, please buy condom or buy condom. A pastor, he has been missing up. He has been doing evil. He has been do, committing immorality with the lady outside. And the, the, you know the worst thing? The worst thing is that he's, he's still preaching. 
the worst thing that he's, he's still going to poop it. The worst thing that people still look at him like a pastor. The, the worst thing that people still think that he's still, he's still okay. Whereas he has lost it. Hey, my, my brother, do you know that there's only, only one in a million? We don't know what is happening to all the other pastors. We don't know what is happening in all the family. We don't know what is going on in some places. A pastor is looking at a pornography, watching pornography when the wife is not at home, doing evil. A lot of things are happening, my brother. Brother, a lot of things. And that is why I want to pray. I want you to pray. We want to now make it a general prayer. Oh, God. I, I told you when I was saying, I said, there is no family that God cannot rescue. There is no family that God cannot save. There is no family that is, is beyond God. He, he is beyond God. No family is beyond God. It's no family is beyond the power of God. That's what I want to pray. Oh, God, all the family that has been captured, all the family that has been captured by the devil, who God deliver, 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 deliver the man, deliver the woman, in the name of Jesus. Deliver, 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, my pray. In the family that will be captured by the devil, captured by sin, captured by Satan, captured by immorality, captured by fornication, captured by pornography. Oh God, I pray, deliver that family, deliver the husband, deliver the wife, deliver the children, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray, all our families, oh God, in the church, all the families of the brethren, in the church, where Satan has captured. Oh God, show your mercy, show them mercy, show them mercy, show them mercy, and deliver, and deliver, and deliver. Send them free, Lord, 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 send them free, send them free, send them free, in the name of Jesus, send them free by your power, send them free by your blood, by the blood of Jesus, who God intervene, 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 we family have been possessed by the devil, who God intervene, deliver them, oh God, from the hand of the devil, from the chains of Satan, from the net of the devil, anything that has entangled them, it could be physical habit, it could be immorality, oh God, I pray, deliver them, oh God, that habit, oh God, that thing, oh God, that addiction, oh God, that has conquered them, oh God. Deliver, 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 deliver. No case is beyond you. Father, no case is beyond you. No case past you. No case past you. No case you. Oh God, come down in your power. 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 Start from our own family. Who oh God deliver us. Who oh God deliver us. We will not fall into the trap of the devil. We will not fall into the trap of the devil. In the name of Jesus, we will not live carelessly in the name of Jesus, by your grace and by your power, keep us to the end, keep us to the end oh God, keep us to the end oh God keep us to the end oh God in Jesus name we pray Amen over to you Pastor Matthew let's just continue to call upon the name of the Lord that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ in all Lyria devil is waiting Almighty Father, we give us victory in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Mighty Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. All areas where the devil, oh God, Father, is waiting, oh God, oh God, oh God, step in, oh God, deliver us, oh God, deliver us. Amen. Amen. From my experiences in with the work, Pastor said, my heart is very sober. I've seen a lot of things in life. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give us victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Online, I don't know if I've told you many things about my story of my life. When I wanted to wed and totally, let's, let's accept that church was against it. Very, very, very fortunate, very uncommon were online. Uh, then, uh, along the line, because of their love for me, they said, okay, you are our son. But well, this is it, this is it. This marriage, this is what we see there. Do not go into it. But if you say you are going to go into it, you are our son. We are not going to say no. But this is it. Tell it this to the marriage. Another I pastor for tent. I can mention the name of the pastor. Pastor Awoyeli, anyone for that knows us, know him in Lagos. You know who is he? He was sent to me that you are our son. We have trained you. We did everything we can do. For you to become what you become. Now you want to do marriage. You couldn't see so anybody in our in our midst to marry. We are going to support you. We are going to be with you. But one thing we want you to know 
after the marriage we don't want you to come back and say d so the only one of our marriages the counseling i remember i called my wife i said you know out of all what i see that kill our family fornication is there but god helped me i separated myself from the family and that make it what i am today now if anything is going to happen if i talk if if i offend you i do anything whatever i don't want you to punish me for is uh uh marita's uh in, in inter i think you understand what i said yes sir unfortunately uh many many waters pass under the bridge if you o- understand all what i'm saying mommy please give us a chance many times i pass under the bridge you get what i'm saying yes sir <laughs> so so that look at where satan's footed you see what i ran for i married at the age of 37 we married for 17 years we take care of children for our children now is 16 years I, I learned the line we brought our mom in the mom has been staying for us for more than eight years so calculate the, the time we train the children calculate the time the mom stay with us now calculate the the, the opportunity we have yes, in the life as a husband and wife we see that they're all our marriage have been struggling taking care of this taking care of that taking care of this taking care of that so that's why we need to be praying for people you know if god love me if i have a leader like pastor dada my dear brother my life will have gone I won't deceive you. But this is a man that has taught eyes. He has taught eyes. He looked beyond in everything. So we pray for everybody that in kind of situation. That God, the devil is so, is so, one of our pastors pre- preached one day. He said, you know what? The devil have been staying in this world for more than 2,000 years. If you combine his wisdom with you that you say you are 60 years, Take away 60 out of 2,000. Who is more brave? Who is more cunning? Who has more wisdom? If not, because of the blood of Jesus Christ, devil always waits some way for those people who may see. Except you, except somebody that very key to him. You now call upon the name of the Lord. For many people that in that stand of situation, the death of Jesus Christ will not be in vain on them in the name of the death of Jesus Christ. I want you to know there are a lot of people, even money, even jealousy, even something that is not in that area. You get what I'm saying? As killing them under the net. And we don't know. They devil look for your weakness and wait. So that he can capture, he can capture that particular person. If the, if we the kingdom or in the kingdom of, of of light we are looking for so to win who is looking for so to win more if not devil let's call upon the name of the lord but or any for many as devil has waited for and still he doesn't want them to make the kingdom of god that by the power and the blood of jesus christ god is going to give them victory in jesus name let's open our mouth let's call upon the name of the lord Let's call upon the name. Many people, as many people, many people, by your grace and by your power, by the power of the Lord, by your grace and by your power, we will make it at last. We will make it at last. You keep us by your power. You will keep us by your power. You will keep us by your power. Every plan of the Lord, every plan of the devil, will be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Will be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Who know we are praying? Who know we are asking that you will preserve us? You will keep us in the name of Jesus. Father, my prayer, Satan will not be able. Oh, 
Amen. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Glory be thy name. Majesty be thy name. We want to appreciate you for everything you are doing for us. We know you love us. And we know you will not leave us alone. Father, you are a good God. You are a great God, a loving God, a mighty God, a caring God. Ah, Father, I am praying and I'm asking, oh God, Lord, for all our families, families, oh God, Father, that the devil has touched, family, oh God, Father, that the devil has, oh God, manipulated, families, oh God, Father, that the devil has had his inroad, Oh, Lord, I am praying. God, I know, I know you, my Father. I know there is no, there is nothing beyond you. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing, no, no situation that is above you, above what you can undo. You can undo every situation. You can undo every problem. Oh, God, I pray. We bring our families before you, oh, God. Oh, Lord, I am praying because we always say Jesus is a mighty God. Father, you have all the power in heaven and earth. Hey, Bubu Agbara la ye atio a oware loa baba oware loa Jesus oware loa Bubu Agbara la ye atio oware loa Father, I am praying. Father, I am asking. I know all power belong to you. All power in heaven. All power on earth. All power under the earth. All power in the water. All power in the the air, or power in the sea, or power in the family, or power in the tree, or power in the leaf, or power in the harbor, or power belong to you. Oh God, I am praying. Oh God, I am asking the family, oh God, Father, that the devil has touched, that the devil has touched. Anything that the devil touch, oh God, touches, oh God, will not remain the same, will not be normal. Oh God, I am praying. Oh God, I am asking every work of the devil, every activity of the devil, every handy work of the devil, every handwriting of the devil in our families, oh God, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the word of God, I command, oh God, let the hand of the devil in every family, in our family, be cut off in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty God, I am praying. Oh God, I am looking upon you, oh God. That situation in the family, that seems to be beyond, oh God, what, oh God, Father, anyone can handle. We have prayed, we have called upon you, we have called upon you, we have fasted, oh God, oh Lord, I am praying. Oh God, I am asking. That situation, oh God, that has long, oh God, Father, been awaited, oh God, oh Lord, I pray. Oh Lord, I pray, let the mercy of God, by the mercy of God, by the mercy of God, let that situation, oh God, Father, come to an end in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty Father, I am praying, asking, oh God, the Bible says, and the wickedness of the wicked shall come to an end. Oh God, I am praying, oh God, I am asking, you have given me the mandate, you have given me the mandate, you gave me the mandate, you gave me the mandate, you told me, you told me, you told me, you told me, oh God, you said, oh God, the works I do, you will do. You said greater work than this shall you do because I go to my father in heaven. Oh Lord, Jesus Christ, I am your representative. I represent you here on earth. And so I decree every situation in the family, oh God, that is irreparable. Every situation in the family, oh God, that seems to be beyond what anyone can handle. I pray, Lord, by the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the New Testament, by the blood of Jesus, that powerful blood, that blood, that powerful blood, by the blood of Jesus, I come out that situation in the family oh god let the blood of jesus swallow that situation forever in the name of jesus hey. Father, i am praying asking oh god the yes the yes coming to an end 
the year is coming to an end. Oh God, I am praying. I'm asking, oh God, as the year is coming to an end, oh God, Lord, I am praying. Lord, I am asking, oh God, there will be no carry over in our life, no carry Amen. over in our family. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray. Let this month, the, the, this is the twelfth month. This is the twelfth month. We have passed the eleventh month. The eleventh hour miracle, oh God, and the twelfth hour miracle. The eleventh hour miracle and the twelfth hour miracle. The eleventh month miracle and the twelfth month miracle. Oh yeah, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sit our family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Have your way in our family, so God. Amen. Amen. Let your way be done. Let Amen. your name be glorified. Amen. This week, as we go out this week, it shall be well with us. Amen. Father, visit us at the very point of our need. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because this week will be glorious. Amen. This week will be wonderful. This week will be marvelous. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, sir. Pastor Mike, please call me later. Hello, sir. Let me get you. So please call me later. Oh. Okay, sir. Maybe about five or ten minutes. Okay, sir.